Right ear, Bible. Chinese. Left ear, Mozart. Two times speed. Welcome to the podcast where you talk about anything and everything that comes loser? out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. Brian. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls no him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's a little... It's a little... Uh... A lot of things have happened this week, James. A lot of great things. I mean, yeah. maybe society is finally moving forward. I mean, I don't know if I'd call you know? it great. I wouldn't call I, it great. I would call it know? great. We are moving forward. You know, progress... You know, sometimes sacrifice is required for progress, and in this case, yes, it is required for progress. Anyway, you, you I'm guessing you have just... no idea what the what I first just said that opening sentence, but that's okay. No, I don't. I, you want to you you just uh, get it I'm off your chest? Honest, or... It went it went right. You said that, and it went right over my head. Yeah, I know, I know you're not too focused on. I'm a little uh, you're a little out of it this week, you know. You you got hit with that news earlier this week, and you just you're just in a fog, like a like a fog, a haze. My nose keeps stumbling bleeding, stumbling around like all over the place for the past like few days. So for those of you that don't know, um, what happened was eight trucks were let into Palestine, uh, Gaza specifically, and they were <laughs> dropping off food, AK flour, more specifically. And what happened was when the civilians went to go get this flour, they were fired upon by the IDF in their tanks and upon with other weaponry. And when questioned as to why they did this, so they said they didn't do this. The people my, trampled each other. In my house. And when they said, well, why do when we inspect in the, the bodies uh, and you say they trample each other. Why are we finding bullet wounds? And they're saying, well, we didn't we didn't shoot them. And we're like, but we have footage of you shooting them. And they're like, no. And then America decides, well, we're also going to drop Aiden. <laughs> and so when America no. drops Aiden, JD, guess how many people died from the boxes of food falling on them? Because know, America didn't lot. actually properly six. Surprisingly, only six. Oh, I thought that was. But many that were still injured that, but... upon that. Dude. <laughs> no, because hmm. guess what? People boxes. Well, it's even simple, though they James. Parachutes. All they had to do was just take cover in their shelters that are like destroyed or something. I don't know. Uh huh. The shelters that they have on that beach, they've been forced onto. <laughs> you know those classic those classic shelters know. that hold up to falling uh, debris tents. So good at holding up against uh, shelling. Anyways, uh, it's called yes, the flower massacre or the flower trap because uh, they were led into a trap by IDF and then they're continuously going, well, we're not doing this. And it's like, yeah, you are. And then they now have body cams, by the way, the IDF have body cams. Why? It I'm doesn't stop them from doing okay. the things they're doing. So why do they have body cams? They're admitting to committing war crimes on body cams and people are still like, <laughs> they're the good guys. It blows it's my just, mind what just people do and get away with. Uh... So with that genuine, my genuine feelings of we're fucking crazy if we think these are the good guys doing these horrendous crimes. Sure. Rooster Teeth ended, uh, or is ending in sixty days. Yeah, uh, wow, such a, such a, such an amazing topic to bring up right after that, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to genuinely get a good, like a not a good, but like a very genuine topic on the spot. Of, yeah, I like, know something you wanted to just virtue about. signal your your feelings about how Palestine yeah, is getting no, massacred sorry, around, or over there, or whatever. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, I get you know, it. It's not like our fucking. I get, I get that your money profit, is paying you're, for the shit you're that's profiting being sent off of all this. You want to know who's really virtue signaling? Huge amounts of money that you're receiving from you want, from probably you want the IDF. I don't know. You want to know who's really virtue signaling? <laughs> the fucking democrats they're they're literally going you know what the demos now, i think <laughs> yeah the demos they're going now you know what i think we should really you know call for at least like a uh 60 day ceasefire you know until we can get most of our primaries done <laughs> and then you know we'll spare a few weeks <laughs> i just want to talk I just want to yeah, talk. I, I mean, I know we've been saying, hey, Israel's fine with what they're doing. We fully support it. But I think, you know, now that we really need your vote, we'll, uh, you know, pretend to be the good guys. Ugh, and well, you can mark it on your calendar. Why I ought like Day, whatever, how long this massacre is going to happen. Which will probably happen for a longer time now. It's been happening for 70 plus years. Yeah. It's now ramping up, and but now you decide to talk about it, James. It's just a little strange to me that you know, all this time you live for how long now? Like sixty of those seventy years, and now you decide to talk about it. It's just it's just a little strange to me. That's all. 
Yeah, it is a little strange. You know, it's strange how we're not taught shit. We, we never actually <laughs> learn proper history. And that's why we're yeah, so ignorant where'd you learn to all stuff this when from, it comes huh? out. I learned it not from ID, fucking the news channel sources. called IDF haters. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. That's of course that's, that that's I your, that's it your from secondary there. channel. It's my channel. Yeah, that's the second channel that you told me to go make because my workers are finding my first one. Uh, yeah, my workers, my coworkers. Uh, yeah, no, it's a genuinely horrible situation. I don't know how people can even fucking like look at it and be like, uh, well, you know, Israel, they're really the victims, anyways. Uh, let's shoot on these people who are so desperate to get flour that they'll all run to like a few bags. Hmm. <sighs> But man, were the victims? Well, I mean, hey, anyways, they wanted they wanted the flower, and guess what? They you died. Know, you're right, Some JD, like you're six right, of them died to the flower. So six, is six food is food bags really that six good? Of the Palestinians. Yeah. Again, still not the Israelis. Um, fucking. So they, they, they wanted stupid. the food, but then they died from the food. I mean, it's just yeah, there's man. no winning. You know, there's they, no winning. Here. They saw this plane fly over, drop boxes on. They're like, "Oh my god, finally aid!" Hey, how come the how come they're not slowing down? I see a parachute deployed, but it's still going really fast. Oh my god! And then it hits them. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> is, we fucking suck. That is such a we we fucking suck so much. You sound like it, it sounded so much like you were making a joke there with the way you delivered you that line. What is because it's insane Jesus. that it's not a joke. It's insane that that's real. If you watch the video, they fucking fall so fast they and they don't slow down. And dude, it, you, it's literally people recording it, fucking running away because it's coming down so fast on top of them. I wish this was all a joke. I wish it wasn't real, but it is real. Unlike Israel, yeah, it is which is real. not real because they're fucking monsters. I mean, that's they're you can't real. Say that that's anti-Semitic. It's not. They're not. Well, I mean, it is. They're not is, Semites. We'll they're just, not we'll Semites. Move on from they were mostly not hey, listen, Jewish. It's okay. Israel is not Judaism. The amount of people is, out there you're a fucking idiot that who are just understand. like straight up racist, it's, it's fine. Really, I mean, there's so many of them out there. It's just whatever, you know. You know, JD, it's it's like pointing at. Us in America and say, "Well, you're all the KKK, so you all deserve it." There you go. Yeah, I mean that's well, basically yeah. what that's hey. like. That's like the view of like some countries out there. Probably, I don't know. Probably, I mean, at least our schools. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like a jab at British people or something? Or? Yeah, it is because they always say whenever you bring up any criticism towards oh, them, they always go, just "Oh, these are schools members. aren't shooting galleries. These are sh at least our schools are for learning instead of shooting. Or at least our schools on Tuesday." Anyway, though, yeah, despite yeah. Uh, despite James's anti-Semitism, uh, Rooster Teeth did in fact die. Who could have who could have well, seen no, it coming? Well, to be fair. I I've well, I mean I I've not been a Rooster Teeth like avid watcher for a JD's long not time a Rooster now. Teeth head. I'm not a Rooster Teeth head, but obviously I don't. He I don't, does like, I don't hate them to the point nice, that I wanted them all to. You know, does not like them. I don't hate them to the point where I wanted all of them to die because you know that kind of thinking is a little dangerous. It I'm is. Semitism for James. So it's a little bit weird. How did they? How did they die? Actually, are they actually dead, or is it just like a no, things that so people are they, saying? So they have at least two more months within their respective studios to continue making content and working mm -hmm. uh, before it officially comes to a close, and then from there, depending on the different IPs, some stuff will continue. Uh, their podcasting network, The Roost, is, is I think going to continue. But what mm -hmm. that means for like the Rooster Teeth shows under that banner, it's still kind of up in the air. When they were addressing it on their live stream, it was very them going, hey, we literally don't know. And we're still in the talks of like figure out what's going on. Um, their, I see. Their new season of their show, Camp Camp, their uh, 2D animated show, that's going to be still coming out. There's nothing going to be delaying that. Uh, the final season of Red vs. Blue is going to be coming out this spring still, no matter what. Um, they are looking for partners to continue making the Ruby show. Uh, I the see. Volume 10. Oh, so they're finding like other people from other than Warner Brothers? Is that what Yeah, because Warner is? Brothers has specifically not been giving them much funding at all. And that's like literally why they've been going to like Funimation. And like uh, when they're making the Genlock season two, they went to HBO specifically. And when they did that, it fucking like killed it. Like they literally fucking put a gun to the back of Genlock's head and blew its brains out with the product that got delivered because of 
the fucking shitty stipulations that they were given. They're like, yeah, you know, you need to, you need to, you know, kill off a lot more characters. You need to, uh, you know, make a, you know, why don't we make it evangelical and, uh, you know, also uh, sex scenes. And it's like, oh god, this fucking. You really took hey, a novel concept hey, and fucking mean, like killed it. When you got to when you when you walk into the show business, I mean, you just gotta have you gotta have certain things in there. You know, it's like a yeah, checklist. Yeah, you know, you know, a show about how war is ho- character is hell deaths and, like, check, sex scenes check, awkward sex scenes <laughs> double check. You know, VR sex scenes, <laughs> <laughs> cyberpunk check. I mean, yes. come on now. <laughs> uh, Who doesn't love a good brain dance? Am I right? And it, 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 yeah, I mean, it kind of is, kind of is, uh, <laughs> but it, it's, it's very weird. It's, it's, they're finding partners, but they're also, they made it very clear. Like, yeah, we, we kind of got this sprung on us on the fucking, so is, and it's like, it, yeah, what were you going to say? I just, I just had a quick question. Is 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 it yeah. just like Rooster Teeth is like, is Warner Brothers just cutting ties with Rooster Teeth? That's what it is. And it's no, not like it's they're they're closing their okay. doors. They're not like, I just see. like. They they like they were like yeah you know the people that we wanted to sell them to are no longer in business so we're just not even going to keep looking, and it's like you fucking animals got them <laughs> you, you you guys already strung them up in a fucking trap and started bleeding them out and you're like why can't you guys earn more revenue I mean we're no longer supporting you financially like we had been <sighs> listen we just can't support it's, you it's financially like, until you can financially like support us yourselves. as a parent company aren't doing our jobs as a parent company it's so weird james james like, it's, it's money. i can't i can't financially support you until you find you can financially support yourself it's as simple yeah, as that i financially support you <laughs> you don't have to who's still subscribed <laughs> <laughs> who's still <laughs> i am single-handedly carrying your channel by subscribing to it <laughs> jd i get that notification in my mailbox every month about my four dollar <laughs> subscription <laughs> your four dollar subscription uh, i use that james mac emote every <laughs> day <laughs> i'm going to uh i'm going to rebrand my twitch channel to uh the the Versity. father of scientology yeah so that Tom I could Cruise? just say that you're you're subscribed to Scientology. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I heard that like Rooster Teeth died. Um, is yeah. just not going to not going to continue. Is it like achievement hunter and stuff. Is that it's, also not happening? Or so that's that's a thing. They're they're like we want to continue working on this stuff. Uh, we want to continue because here's the thing. Uh, and it's again what I was trying to say is uh, a lot of the people there literally did not know this was happening till that day it got announced in a fucking article the, uh, the best communication of a company <laughs> yeah it, they're they're like yeah we'll have a company-wide meeting where we're not going to let anyone talk really other than us and the ceo over steve we're gonna and, have to you know, force you to like, sign hey, you're NDAs. All a job in two months by the way we're gonna force you like, to sign ndas and then we're not we're gonna force you to sign a paper that says mm-hmm. you rightfully give up your stipend check or something I forgot what it was called. They, I heard that they are getting very good uh, severance packages. Actually. Severance package, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking on last week's they, topic, they I heard that they are getting time, very good severance it? packages. Yep, twenty-one years. Dang. Sometimes you just live long enough to see yourself teeth. become the villain. <laughs> Did they? I, I think I think Water Brothers is the villain in this scenario here with how they've well, been I mean, treating the company. Who's still standing? I am. I mean, speaking of Warner Brothers, apparently I, I got, like, it ties into another topic that I want to talk about that also includes Warner Brothers, but uh, anyway, you can continue with your your Rooster Teeth thing. Um, so Achievement Hunter, of... like, we don't, we don't know what's going on with that? Yeah, so uh, I, I will say that it was uh, from the Let's Play channel, as they're re- I think they were trying to rebrand into being Achievement Hunter fully again. I remember hearing them talking about that and wanting to do that. Mm-hmm. rather than just being the let's play channel and achievement hunter is like the old thing i think they wanted to actually rebrand achievement hunter into being the new uh, i can't wait uh, for them to well, rebrand and then and then i'm gonna write a comment saying who are these people this isn't the this is an achievement hunter <laughs> this isn't my dog barks <laughs> who are you people <laughs> <laughs> um you, I remember on literally that morning that happened, one of the people, Andrew Panton, uh, literally posted a video on the channel called We Have an Announcement, and I watched it. 
and it's him going, so, you know, um, a year ago, we were playing this game back before we got the Let's Play rights, and we were just the Fuckface channel, and we were doing games over there. Uh, we, I did reach out to a company, and I got the rights to a mascot, and that's going to be our new official mascot on Let's Play. And he's, like, self-funding this, and he's, like, super excited to announce it. And then, like, an hour later, they're like, Rooster Teeth is closing. <laughs> And he and he's like, oh fuck, oh no, <laughs> guys, my announcement video is not the. Uh, it's not sorry, that. sir. My I announcement got, video is not that. Uh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I mean, um, hey, you know, sometimes it, it it's it's just uh, some things just have to die. Eventually, James, all good things end, and maybe in this case, maybe all mid things end, and um, that's your ending. I mean, I don't know, maybe. I'm not Rooster Teeth. I don't really know what's going on on the inside. Uh, but JD, like you said, mid things have to come to an end, and you're pretty fucking below mid. <laughs> exactly. Smoke my Andrew I'm not, Tate cigar. Well, I'm just saying. Smack, smack, throw on bed. <laughs> Light cigar says rip bozo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, um, the, that's the beauty I, of it, James. We're not good, and we're not mid, so we get to live. Because I said good uh, things and mid things end. Not bad things. They just keep on we, going. We live in a void in between mid and good. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, I remember that morning when I was going through the Instagram stories, I remember seeing videos in the stories of like the Rooster Teeth employees. And again, it's and so many of them were unaware of the fact that like they were all posting like, hey, we're doing exciting stuff and everything. They were all having fun. <laughs> and then the very the next post is, guys, I'm in danger. Yeah, no, it's it's literally, well, what a fucking gut punch. Hey, is anybody looking to hire this? And, like, they list what they do. Uh, because these are people out of a job. It's not like uh, Warner Brothers is helping them find new work. It's they are literally yeah. now having to find new employment on their own. Yeah, that's usually what um, happens when, you know, big company like that dies. All I mean, of a sudden, sometimes big nowhere. companies like this do help you find new employment. They'll, like, write well, recommendations. They'll, like, reach out on your behalf because they're springing this on you. Yeah. Um, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's really fun. Rip Bozo, they said. <laughs> I, uh, Warner Brothers I, light, lighted his cigar, and he's like, "Hmm, maybe today." I'm thinking, no roosters for me. Roosters have gone to rest. Uh, <laughs> I I will say there are some fucking insane people mm -hmm. <laughs> on uh, Twitter.com. <laughs> What's what's Twitter? Uh, you know what? I X I only is. know X. It's just X I now. I only know Y. <laughs> they always ask what's X instead of what's Y. I'm the Y. Um. So on X, people were live. So while they were doing a live stream addressing this stuff, they had like a bunch of people from across the company there. Um, you saw me in the comments going like, who are you? <laughs> a lot of people are saying that towards the CEO, which I guess a lot of people still don't know that the CEO, like who he is. I don't which know is who really is funny either. to me because it's like people who are like actually concerned to like, who, who's this guy? It's like, this yeah, guy? you know, he's been the CEO of the company for like the past six years. How does he know so much about Rooster Teeth's inner inner workings? I literally was seeing a lot of people going, why are they letting Jordan talk? And, and like the people in the company were like, guys, Jordan is the only reason we've been open this long. <laughs> Jordan has been fighting for us. He, he was doing the best he fucking could. Calm down. He's not the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the enemy. He's just failed us all. And now we're no, uh, going to be gone. You failed us. Um, oh, no, I, I, I fucking... was the reason, James? Yeah. Maybe I, I was. Did see, I did see some people fucking I... misinterpret the shit out of what was being said. I sent and... an email, a strongly worded email to Mr. Water Brother himself. And I was like, you know, Mr. This... Mr. Brother, Mr. Brother, Mr. Bros. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I said to him, hey, this, uh, I said, this... Warner. I said, hey, this uh, this Ruby show is just, it's a little cringe, no? And he's like, I got to do something about this. So it is my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> he he wrote that back to you? Yeah. He replied to my email and he's like, I'll, I'll do something about it immediately, how, sir. How, how long did he take to uh, respond to your email? You know, about like six years-ish. <laughs> God damn, JD. That, that was back when yeah. Bernie was still at the company. Yeah. 
I mean, hey, you know, I I'd figured out the reason why they lasted so long. This this Jordan person here, Jordan person, was fighting Jordan for Levitt. six years, fighting my email for six years, but it didn't work. I win. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying is that I was watching people live tweet about the uh the stream, and as I'm going through the live tweets and everything, I I see people that are like. They were posting that image of Grant Gustin squatting behind beside the Oliver Queen uh, tombstone while they were filming the Flash TV show, doing the <laughs> you know the peace sign pose. Yeah, and I was seeing people put the Rooster Teeth logo on it and the Funimation logo, and they put Vic Managa, whatever his fucking name is, his face on yeah, Grant Gustin, and they were like, "This innocent man, he outlived them," and I was like, "He admitted to sexually assaulting people." No, got him. <laughs> no, it's it's the greatest thing. Is like everybody in the comments is like he admitted to doing what he did, and people are like, he's an innocent man who did nothing wrong. He was for forced the time to that do he it. Was, he was held at gunpoint. He had no other choice. They had his wife. They had his kids. You know, his wife was the one accusing. Him. <laughs> Sorry, ex-wife. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's truly. I learned how many insane people believe he's still innocent, and it's also like, so none of you watched that video where he shoved the camera right into his. He's fucking dick. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes nobody people just that, don't want to watch videos of dudes shoving cameras into their penises. No, nobody saw him do that after fucking I mean, who, being what do you think I am, James? Gay? You think I want to see a man's penis just out there in, yeah. in the raw flesh, huh? Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> I'm. I know what you want, JD. I can read your mind right now. Oh, really? What am if I thinking saying, of right now? Then you're saying Ryan Haywood was innocent. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you, you're right, you're right on point. I said, man, it should have been Ryan Hayward during one of his let's plays where he just points the camera down his crotch and he's just got his he's got his just dong or like flopped out. Donger, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm seeing people like posting pictures of Ryan Haywood and like Adam Kovic. They'd be like, oh yeah, and Joel Hay Heyman for some fucking reason. Still, people are like, they're innocent. They did nothing wrong, and it's like. They they're fucking all oh, horrible people. Yeah, but James, these are <laughs> it's it's these are dude, trolls, Rooster Teeth haters champion real. the worst guys because guys guys get blamed for so much in society and guys are the most oppressed class there is. White men <laughs> are so oppressed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, James, okay. I know you want I I I, I, heard, I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say it was sarcasm, but I heard your real intentions come out right there. Really? So. You heard me do my yeah, uh, I did hear my, that. my uh Matt from Super Mega going, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. I heard it. I heard you say that to me and then I heard your boss walk into your room and go, "Oh, man." So uh <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what the, that's what the CEO of Rooster Teeth did when he walks into the next business meeting. He goes, he walks in, shuts the door, he turns around, he's like, "Oh man, he looks guys!" Like the 150 employees <laughs> looks up all in the eye, all in the eyes at the same time. Oh man, ah oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there's some fucking freaks out there who like still hold on hope that, and like champion these fucking awful people. Well, I mean, it's, I, I, it, I it's, it's really people... eye opening as to like who some of these people are. Well, I mean, I call those people trolls, you know, fakes. I, I call them they're not real, James. Hey, they're just I, I, they're there, they're well, just no, there JD, to make they, your they mental real. state worse JD, than it already you is. You say they aren't real, but then you I like why I go I know to their profiles. Real, James? I go to their pri I go to their profiles. It's because they're and, me. Like, all of their posts they're are me, about James. them going to anime conventions and taking pictures with Vic Monogma. They're me. I am that. You're, you're a fat. I took a picture dude? with Victor Mignonum himself. With Victor, whatever you say his last name is, uh, himself. With Victor Filet Magnon himself. Okay. With Victor Misogyny himself. <laughs> I do love me some misogyny. Anyway, um, but during that during that during that same live stream, Jack Patillo, uh, one of the Rooster Teeth uh, and Achievement Hunter founders, or just Achievement Hunter founders, he even found Rooster Teeth, but he was one of their earliest members mm -hmm. uh, out of the main crew. He he made it. He said something, and I'm like, oh, "You're right." <laughs> you know yeah. what? You're right. He, he said went, something, and you turned to him with a little smirk. He said, "Okay." I did because he 
because like I was reading these posts and I had the live stream in my ear and I was like listening to it as I was reading these posts. And I, and I, he went, you know, this experience made me realize it's really easy to block people. And I'm like, <laughs> well, hey, oh my God, that's, that's the whole reason why it exists, right? The whole it's reason why now, that feature hey, exists. For now, for now, JD. For now. Elon's getting Elon's getting rid of that, so Grimes can't block him anymore. And yeah, she well, has you know, to talk to him. She you know has what else to talk Elon to is him. doing. He's releasing the Cyber Truck next year, maybe finally. I've seen one in Vegas on oh, my cat struggling. My no, father like, oh, sent me up. a picture of himself with uh, right next to one just yesterday. It is quite large, very tank-like, very solid-looking. Has a lot of features, I guess. Anyway, yeah. I mean, hey, sometimes sometimes these things just happen. And some people got to take the flack for it. And these people are going to be rooster teeth. You know, I'm as a certified rooster teeth or teeth, teeth or hater myself, um, I, I couldn't be more happy. You know, finally looking at these uh, this group of people who've fostered such horrendous individuals like uh, like the Hey Good, Hey Good and and Joel, Joel Nader, and um, all these other people, and I, I just look at it. I look him in the eyes and say, "Rip Bozo." You know. Yeah, you know they really fostered them by firing them once they found <laughs> out about their horrible conduct. Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't know about that one. Yeah, you know people tend to to forget that part of it. <laughs> people tend to forget that they do fire them after they are they they are found out to be these things, and they're like, "Oh, really? Okay." I'll say this: Rooster Teeth was really good at firing people that were horrible. <laughs> Now they're going to be really good at firing way more people. Well, Let no, they're go. not firing anyone. Warner Brothers. <laughs> There's a difference here. <laughs> I know you want to just blame it on the big dog and be like, yeah. Because it is the big dog. It's Warner Brothers and he's the big dog and he's got all the things. I know you're like, oh, guys, we got to give and rich people you're a break. Like, Zaslav know, needs like, oh, you guys another give, yacht. Give little, little, little indie rooster teeth a little break. Okay, did nothing wrong. But it, you it don't was. know, James. You don't know. It was an indie company. You don't know, James. I I do. You don't know the inside. Do you? No, I don't either. But we're just gonna move past <laughs> <laughs> all Rooster Teeth haters. <laughs> Every single Rooster Teeth Rooster Teeth hater. Anyway, Charlie. You ever heard of a company called Sweet Baby Inc? Sweet, oh, sweet God. baby. Yeah, I have. I have. I've okay, heard some news this. about them. I didn't know they existed oh, no. before. No, I, but <laughs> I wanted to bring it up because <laughs> it's, it had a lot of <laughs> funny <laughs> words. <laughs> I know it. this is going to bother you, so I brought it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> I've happened to be listening to so many fucking people talk about Sweet Baby Ink this whole fucking week. Hell yeah. And now you get to hear it here, right on the crapshoot, officially. Sweet Baby Ink, if you don't know, I think is a company that um, gives like checks to game companies on uh, how in how inclusive their games are. That's I think yeah, that's they, what, they help. That's they like the basic with, rundown uh, of it. Yeah, they they yeah that's like the most simplistic. Like like rundown, game like game companies like, will send their games to get like this this uh, yeah. check I, by sweet checked by Sweet Baby Inc to make sure it's it's yeah. uh, PC and then uh, when then when you say it. give them a check it sounds like you're saying that like they're not writing, like not like, like money thousand dollars yeah no not like money financial. well I mean but no I think it's the like game they're giving it they're giving Sweet it an Baby overview Inc. of like hey does this game like you know have good diversity does it have even yes. enough so diversity? the game companies give this, sweet baby inc a check and then sweet baby is this inc just checks a movie from the game. 1970 where it's just a bunch of white people and then you mm -hmm. know we're like when movies were good and then we go back and we're like that's a guy in my i know face. this is gonna i know this is gonna hate on this is gonna this is gonna wrinkle your feathers james but uh yeah it will, all these probably. games they're woke jay <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're woke okay hey yeah, you know, I'm gonna let you get through it before I say my piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you get through the explanation before I'm. The like, sweet baby okay, basically and... just runs like runs through these games and checks for like mm -hmm. make sure they're in inclusive enough, and then they like send it back and tell them to change some things about it. They'll be like, and it's a lot of game companies gay. that Sweet Baby Inc's involved with. I mm -hmm. think it's basically all the major um, AAA ones, like mm -hmm. EA and 
mm-hmm. Ubisoft and some you know some other mm-hmm. game companies, basically mm-hmm. everyone. And mm-hmm. um, <laughs> people are blaming Sweet Baby Inc. for like these terrible games because they're woke yeah. and terrible. And I will give you the fact that they are bad games. Yes, um, in my opinion, I don't think they're really bad because they're woke. But I think they're. I think they'll be bad, even if everyone was like white or whatever in it. I think it would still be a bad game. Um, and in that in that scenario, I probably wouldn't have put so much inclusivity in it because that it just gives people an excuse to be like, "See, look, the, <laughs> woke, the thing bad. that blows my mind about when, when it was going to be a bad game anyway. The thing that blows my mind about it is that they they ignore any good games when it comes to their judgment on this. I'm not it's, sure it's all the list of games that they things that are put only out. things that are that are bad are woke and if they are woke but they're good we just don't talk about it and it's like alan wake to them is woke and they do include it in the bad category but it's an objectively not bad game um i'll I'll google like a list of games that they've been involved with right god of war and whatnot yeah they were god of war god of war's they've been involved yeah and god of war's good well not in your opinion but i think it's pretty good i know you don't like (laughs) it because, yeah, I simply it because, because uh, of the platform that it's on. But you know, it's, I think that's a little short-sighted, yeah. a little I shallow. Mean, but why it's would okay. I ever get a PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they've also been involved with a lot of other games that are pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, so. but it's also it being woke isn't what makes it bad. It's like Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League isn't bad because it's woke. It's bad because it's a fucking game that took forever to come out. And it's a yeah, live service game that didn't mid. really hold up after the first week. <laughs> it turns out it's mid. Yeah, the gameplay is the problem, not the fucking, not the fact Deadshot's a black dude. <laughs> like, calm down. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I told you, James, most people, at least in my opinion, are just, they don't really care about whether or not it's woke or not, just whether or not it's a good game. The player if it's woke, anyway. Um, But anyway... Yeah, what's a list of games that uh, you said you were looking up a list of games, right? Yeah, I, I try looking up a list of games, but maybe they, maybe they just like got rid of it. Oh, here's the Steam group for that that okay. like the drama started with. There's a Steam group called Sweet Baby Fucking Detective. Of course, it's a Steam group. That uh, <laughs> I haven't been involved I'm, in Steam groups I'm for sorry. a long time. It, 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 you, you could have told me it was a steam group or, or like a fucking reddit post and that would have already been horrible enough yeah and it's just a steam it's just a steam group that basically documents every single game that sweet baby inks involved with mm-hmm. and uh basically just gives out don't play this game pretty much uh, a lot of these games i haven't heard of tales of kenzera zao neo cab assassin's creed valhalla which I thought was pretty Never good, heard. actually. That one, that one is pretty I, good. I think people like really underestimate how many games they participate in. Yeah, they they're involved in like everything, pretty much. Yeah, they 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 do a lot, and Gotham people are Knights? like, no, 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 they do these three things. These Gotham three Knights, games I don't like, which were Gotham which Knights. was mid, I think. I people, heard people I heard thought the it was gameplay mid. was actually fun. It was just not a great story. Uh, maybe the, well, the, the is, user review says it's mixed i haven't played it or seen it so i don't know we'll have to play it uh you i'll i'll co i'll co commentate when you play. No, it. you'll get the game and we'll play <laughs> every single time good night dad is it is it because you know that when you play a game you're gonna be like horrible at it and then <laughs> and i get to have the all the excuses in the world to shit out of no, you the entire time i just time don't like playing? playing games alone I like well, you won't friends. be alone. I'll be co-commentating there. I'll be there. Yeah, that's you just it. sitting there. That's you sitting there. That's not yeah. doing anything. And you just like sitting there instead of playing a game? No, I like playing the game with friends. Yeah, sure you do. Okay. Well, I'm actually, I this, this I'm only has 16 games JD, on I swear What's I'm not going to kill you when we play Helldivers. I swear. There's only 16 games me. in this, this Steam list. What's, I can't find like a, a big list of it. Look through, but can't you go to the sweet baby, uh, whatever their name is website? Do they have a website? I'm pretty sure they do. Um, oh, yeah, here it is projects. Mm-hmm. Verify that I'm human. Okay, let me get on here. Okay, Fable, uh, Alan Wake 2. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I heard you. it was pretty good. I haven't seen or I have seen, I've not it, seen it, and it's yeah fucking phenomenal game like i'm not even an alan wake fan really but man 
Oh, they, they call it sensitivity over, they reading. Over the top with it. That's that fits you perfectly. I know you're a pretty you're a pretty sensitive guy, and I I try to. No, I'm you know, not. Yeah, you know, I try to you know make sure not to not to ruffle the feathers too much with you. Yeah, you know, shake the you boat really, too much. Otherwise, you really you're... try to be conscious of myself. Because I, I don't want you to, like break down you. crying on the crapshoot in a recording. I mean, I could edit it out, but I won't. So God of War Ragnarok. Told you. Uh, that was there. Battle Shapers. I've never heard of that. Breeze in the Clouds. Usual June. Goodbye Volcano High. Sable. A lot of these are indie titles. Um, and I've never I've never seen them. Spider-Man 2. Uh, uh oh, too many gay people in that one. <laughs> I love the uh, I love the clip of the Spanish guy the Spanish guy reacting to like the uh, inclusive language section in the Spanish version of the game. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Dude, people Suicide are, people Squad, are insane. Motorfest, South of Night, Midnight, List Your Marbles. Um, that's all they have on the front page. I don't see other things. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is what I mean. Like stuffing woke isn't ruining stuff. There's no there's no go woke go broke, and it's like actually true. That's almost always not the case. Yeah, I can't tell if if their quality just drops because their quality dropped or their quality drops because they're so focused on this inclusivity, inclusivity. thing they forget about they forget about the making the game good section i mean name name me a game that does that that, that like trades trades good gameplay for wokeness yeah I, i'd like the yeah I, I genuinely want to get into a discussion about this let's i don't know i, I don't think i've played many of the woke games so I, wow, I've only JD, heard you're that telling they're, me they're that bad. you can't think of one. Well, I mean, is it maybe because that's not actually a thing for the <laughs> most part? I mean, you have to trade something for everything. Everything is just trade, right? And if I mean, you're it's, so, it's just like it makes sense to me that it's like that. But I don't, I don't actually know because I never Helldive, played. I've never like, played these games. Helldivers Two, I would say, isn't is not woke. It is, JD. I, I don't know if it is. You just don't realize it is. That's the thing. It's like well, how's it how people don't think Starship Troopers is woke, but Starship Troopers is like, no. This whole film is satirizing fascism, and Starship Troopers is satirizing like uh, current day democracy and whatnot, and how <laughs> overly it's democracy. Again, also fascism in itself as well. Xenophobia, like it. Mm, I, th it's I think you're woke in the sense of it, folks. It. No, JD, I'm. It's I'm, just a that's game where you just shoot plot. bugs and the shoot developers bots. Developers are the one, and you no, blow JD, up your friends are... while you drop in. JD, you're doing the. Thing I know you try to. Like, no, I'm gonna. I be know a you try to be like, oh, I'm so smart by seeing every single little detail in this I'm thing. This has an overarching to be a story, and then at the I'm end not, of the day, the artist, to be a contrarian. like the artist, comes out and they're just like, yeah, I just thought it looked cool, and then that's that's it. That's all reason. No, because it's the complete opposite of that, JD. It's. They're literally doing what Starship Troopers did. Is that what the developers are... said? Yes. The only thing I've heard them say you. was was in response to the latest drama because of their nerf that they just put out, where they nerfed uh, they nerfed a few things, and then they were just calling everyone. They just said everyone who complains about it has just skill diffed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's that, kind of that's not participating. What I'm saying though, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> really? I mean. When it comes to the story and the whole idea, I mean, the whole beginning, like, literal clip that you see when you begin the game, the whole, mm -hmm. like, that could have happened to you. And that's why you should join the Hell Dive. That's literally parroting the whole Starship Troopers, like, you know, I'm doing my part bit. Yeah. It, it's was Star literally parodying. I thought Starship Troopers was, like, a bad movie. I thought people didn't like it's it. It's not. <laughs> no, it's literally not a bad movie. It's a good movie, the first one. The sequels are fucking horrible. But it's oh. also, it's very on the nose anti-war it's very showing how this whole fa fascistic uh society and rule is not <laughs> good but like people didn't get that and they're just like well, it's real good for a game war must be awesome and it's like no we continue to show you that it's horrible and just kills people you will die of the stupidest war reasons because people? they're so what? drunken on war what? yeah it's i mean it's whole preyed on societies and everything and they're literally parroting the fact that like hell i mean even in real life nowadays, especially, it was parroting like the idea of what the draft is now. And like with other countries, the draft, like you're basically fucking mandated to join at a certain age. I I don't know if I just give people too much credit, but to me, it's not like it's not like telling a super like 
complex message because I just think everyone knows that well, that's war is bad the, and everyone knows everyone doesn't want to be drafted. It, right? it's so it's like a whole like, oh, this is so deep because it's telling you war is bad. It's like, well, no shit, war is bad. At least in my opinion. Well, yeah, it's like, but well, JD, yeah, of course. No, but people don't get, no, not all people think that though. And that's what I think you don't get. I'm <laughs> saying this as somebody that, that works with, I'm saying this as somebody that works with vets and whatnot. Mm. And what did you say about the IDF? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, just I think the, I, I think the people the you that, work with is is not the majority of people. No, I think but it th- is it is people who will look at it and be like, uh, "Yeah, Hell Divers isn't woke, but uh, Last of Us woke because two women in relationship." <laughs> like it's people <laughs> that will do that and won't see what like the whole anti-fascist like what it's really saying with Hell Divers while also giving you just a good game that's fun to play. Like it's. I'm not saying like you can't enjoy hell divers for what it is a bug killing game, but it's also like pointing at halo and being like, this isn't political. And it's like, no, it's, it literally is. It's, it's, you can (laughs) sure be, you know, blind to it, but that is what the story is. Like, yeah, the gameplay is you're a soldier and you fight bug. The the story is ass in halo. uh, Halo I'm talking about hell divers. (laughs) Uh, but the story is you are a fascistic society that is just going out to the stars and killing whatever you come across because it's not human. Got him. That is, it's literally That's doing based. a parallel of, well, these are not American, so we go where we want to do and spread our democracy. It's hmm. literally just parodying that. I mean, it's I don't literally know. fucking I don't know called it's... Super Earth. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not it's, Super it's... America, James. Yes, I know. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Give me a gun. You, know, you, you, I get, you got it, James. I'm going postal. I'm, I'm going to... Going I'm gonna postal. Uh, but no, it is very on the nose. If you like the story of Helldivers, that is the story. Again, gameplay, It's you can just treat it as uh, kill bug. Simple. But story-wise, it is you are fascists. You are you spreading are a bunch of people who kill bugs. You are killing bugs simply because they exist. Yep. And you don't like that. They pose wow, no actual that's a very threat complex to you story, until you go James. to them. It's crazy. The bugs exist and you don't like them, so you want to go kill all of them because you want to... I'm sorry. That's literally what it is. Like That's, li- that's like, what again, I'm saying. Starship that's the, all the story is. Yes, but that the whole point is that's not a good thing, JD. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's the story. Yes, but like, people don't get that. And that's well, it's what a I'm good thing for me because I like, like the game. It, it it's it is what would you would see as woke if they were people and we were treating this as an analogy for what it is for one to one rather than hey instead of you know uh, people of other cultures and other countries these are bugs and whatnot well, if that's and instead woke, of uh, just, Americans isn't everything just the woke, U.S. military then? everything is just woke from super that's, earth that's something that you can say that is woke I think everything in woke is in nature is woke yes. <laughs> according okay, to the then, definition then nothing of what people use woke then. as if everything is yeah, woke then nothing think, is woke here's the thing JD I don't think anything is woke but people oh, keep really? going that's woke because it's not what they conceive as normal that's the only reason <laughs> woke exists because people don't know what normal is and want to conceive everything that isn't uh, fucking straight dudes and shit like that is non-woke hmm. if it ain't a straight dude that's white then it's woke <laughs> yeah, I have to take Lara a look at Croft the list of is well latest, in sense in nature. latest games in there. By the way, the camera is charging, so if you want to do a special tomorrow, oh, you found you went you went to Best Buy just uh, today and found it. No, I, I the charger I got from there also didn't work. I had to fucking dig and dig through like hundreds of cables and like go through every drawer of this goddamn house to find like the tiniest goddamn fucking two inch cable. Mm-hmm. It's the only one that works. So fucking I'm charging the camera on that and I'm charging the portable charger as well. <laughs> yeah. I see. Uh, so if you if you want to do anything tomorrow, we can do uh we still have the options of doing the mystery thing at Dave's Hot Chicken, the mystery thing at Taco Bell, or the churches versus Popeyes. I'm it's whatever you want, really. I I'm not I don't really have like any strong feelings about it. It's if we oh, do Starfield. Bell, Starfield to wake was up on early. There. I forgot about Starfield. It's Starfield so boring. Isn't a, I, didn't, it, I forgot about it. I think Starfield's actually a good example of like missing some steps. 
I think it I think it would be an example of like uh it it's missing everything except like the inclusivity thing. I think it's pretty like diverse in it. Well yeah, but it's I missing mean, like, so many I feel I feel I, like I don't know if that's they... a like that caused them to just miss so many like basic features like like in in game city maps, a bunch of loading screens. I don't know. I, I think it's them running uh, the uh, new age games on old engines because that's all they do and all they have ever done. Uh, and it's a I mean, big I problem. Guess at of a like, certain well, we point made this expansive, it. large game, and it's like, well, it's so empty, though. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess you could say it because it's like they made this game. It's so like it's so big, but it's not very good. Like boring quests boring, i think there's some good stuff to in it. it it's just like it gets so buggy because it's a bethesda game Lots again that's running on an old engine that they refuse to get a new one to run stuff on yeah but instead of instead of like focusing some effort into like fixing at least some bugs or maybe getting rid of some loading screens they have like i don't know some woke stuff in it i guess i can i can't even say that i feel like there isn't really anything woke. I mean, people will point to like the one lesbian relationship that you find in the game that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, but like, there isn't really I mean, isn't much. It, isn't quote, it pretty unquote, inclusive? Woke. I thought it was inclusive. It is. I just and I heard like that it's it was not inclusive. Done. I just, I feel like it's not an in your face sort of thing. Like, they would want to like pr probably pretend it is. Like, again, like the one time I can like recall anything, I'm thinking of like when you go to the private station, you meet, uh, like two lesbians and i feel like that's the only time i can like point at something and be like well if they're gonna get mad they'll get mad at this mm. yeah, but yeah maybe. i mean oh fuck i forgot pronouns um <laughs> pronouns pronouns <laughs> fucking british loser like literal thumb of a human God being damn oh bring i'm sorry british, you have to bring the british in with them too i'm sorry i gotta be kind to the bigot you hate all the British people. You hate you Israel people. Kind. Damn, that's a lot of people. Oh, no. hate. That's a lot oh, of people. No. The colonizers. Yeah, I can't find any more. I can't find any more list of sweet baby ink games. Did they By just the way, take it, them all down. Every time you say that, it's like a nervous reaction because that's what Matt Walsh calls his calls his fans. Sweet babies. Yeah. Really? He's a fucking weirdo. That's why that's he. Weird. That's why when he had his merchandise, it was a plush, uh, like a a plushie of him as a baby. Mm. <laughs> I that man unnerves me in a way I cannot describe because of how fucking weird and gross he is. <laughs> yeah. Well. Anyway. I think sixteen is the ripe age. Anyway, the, the thing about Sweet Baby Ink <laughs> is that uh, it's also. No, no. I think we should pivot here. I've also discovered. Some like huge investment companies that are like shareholders in like every single company in the world, mm -hmm. uh, and they're called like they're called BlackRock and Vanguard. Uh, yeah, BlackRock's fucking horrible. And these, I did, I've never heard of it until I watched a video that talked about Sweet Baby Inc. Where apparently BlackRock is the real life Arasaka. It's like the real life. It's like the Illuminati. <laughs> Again, real life Arasaka. It's like a huge investment group <laughs> that basically just holds shares, like a large amount of shares in like every single, every single large company, other large company, and uh, they just like own like a fifth of the world or something. Mm -hmm. they're, they're <laughs> they own a lot of things. Vanguard is basically genuinely the same thing Merriweather too. from GTA. <laughs> they're Mer I mean, I, I don't know if they, I don't know if they're like a private militia group. They're more like, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, anyway, there's, there's a, they've got like their feet in like everything. And I just thought that was pretty interesting because I'd never heard about it until now. So anyway, they, apparently the reason why so many, so many games are going like this route, the, the woke route was because, uh, BlackRock and Vanguard have like a, uh, a list of requirements for what type of like uh, shares they would like to buy from certain companies. And some of those requirements are like really strange, I guess. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what they are. I just know that they have them. And basically all these other companies are like trying to change their things to fit this list of requirements so they can get invested in, right? Get the money from 
BlackRock and Vanguard. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. You know. By the way, like I, I sent you a top video level. real quick. Uh, yeah. Cyberpunk players looking for a way to bring lore to reality. I'll do whatever it takes to. <laughs> I, I I'm not joking when I say BlackRock is the real life Arasaka. Yeah. They they are actually cartoonishly evil and they hide it so horribly well. Yeah, what have, what have they done? Okay, if we're about to get into this. <laughs> I think you just list off a couple of things. The, the episode's almost over. We probably could get into it next next episode. Actually, yeah, we'll do a Pizzagate episode on BlackRock. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just know that out. blackrock and vanguard invest in like everything they own like a fifth of everything each maybe i don't know i don't know about vanguard but i know blackrock's pretty pretty like set in stone vanguard was like the second most probably um anyway i just thought that was interesting that there's like this huge top level like a uh, gigantic like trillionaire investment firm uh that mm -hmm. uh that basically has has the say in a, a lot of influence in what these uh, companies do. So anyway, that was a uh, that was a uh, that was it then I guess. If you enjoyed, yeah. you should subscribe and you get to see every episode. Uh, Sunday is when they come out. Every episode is Sunday. And uh, if you like James, you can check him out in the description. Hi. And uh, that'll be it for me. James, bring us out. So, uh, with Rooster Teeth coming to an end.